and gals and all my non-binary friends. So today we are going to New Jersey. I, I was going to do a bad Italian Jersey accent. I was just like, nah, you know, kind of felt, uh, we ain't going to do that. <laughs> New Jersey has 14 electoral college votes. Again, abolish the electoral college. I don't know why that's a thing. We should just get rid of it. Key dates to remember are going to be October 13th, which is the voter registration deadline. October 5th to November 2nd, which is the day before the election, is in-person absentee early voting days. October 20th is the recommended date to have your mail-in ballot back in. October 27th is the vote by mail request deadline. And of course, November 3rd is election day. Hopefully, because with the way things are going now, they try to stop the election, bro. We don't need to stop the election. You cannot register the same day you want to vote, so make sure that you are registered before October 13th. What are the vote by mail requirements in my state? All voters will be mailed a ballot and can either mail in the, ba the ballot, drop it in a secure drop box, being set up across the state, take it to one of the select physical polling locations, or vote by provisional ballot in person. All voters will be mailed a ballot, so you guys are good. They really highly recommend having your mail-in ballot back in by October 20th. Does my state require my ballot to be postmarked or delivered by election day? If you return your ballot by mail, it must be postmarked on or before election day. What are my non-mail ballot return options? Your ballot can be returned in person to a secure drop box being set up across the state or take it to one of the select physical polling locations. You can track your ballot as well as if you've never been registered or you want to check your registration, you want to change something on your registration, please go to vote.org and Vote Save America to do that you can check your ballot get registered and all of those things on these website links in my description box what if i don't receive my ballot by october 20th if you requested your ballot but you haven't received it more than likely again they're going to mail out everyone's ballot to them but if you haven't received it before election day you can drop it off at a drop box or a physical polling location um but if you are if you still haven't received it on election day you can cast a provisional ballot at your polling place and i vote early in person new jersey does not provide in-person early voting at polling locations but you can drop your absentee ballot off in person as early as 29 days before the election if you are going to vote in person on election day though make sure you wear a mask keep a safe social distance for you and other voters and if you see any such people like the proud boys or someone else trying to intimidate or coerce people into changing their vote or to get out of lines and all that other stuff please make sure to contact one eight do i need an id to vote in person if you've completed your registration in the past and have voted before before you are all set if you're a first-time voter and want to finish your registration on election day you will need to bring a photo id or a copy of a utility bill bank statement or paycheck new jersey has no legislative elections this year and no state judges but they you guys do have three ballot measures i freaking love ballot measures they really get me they really get me hot, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh shit. This is why I love ballot measures. So the first ballot measure is public question one. Legalize the possession and use of marijuana. Excuse me, excuse me. Y'all are lit, y'all about to get lit. All right, a vote yes supports this constitution amendment to legalize the possession and use of marijuana for persons ages 21 and older and legalize the cultivation, processing, and sale of retail marijuana. The constitutional amendment would take effect January 1st, 2021. New Jersey would be the first state in the mid-Atlantic to legalize marijuana. Look out, y'all, pioneers. Also, you guys need to start expounding, expunging people's sentences and freeing people for the marijuana convictions y'all have in your state. Public question two, makes peacetime veterans eligible to receive the veterans property tax deduction. So I guess now peacetime people, people who are veterans in a peacetime, uh, at, a, at a time of peace where there was no war, they didn't get this veterans property tax deduction, but now they want to make it to where they do. And it's like, y'all shouldn't penalize people for not having to go to war. What kind of fuck shit is that? That's why. Public question number three, delays the state legislative redistricting process and use new districts if census data is received after February 15th. A yes vote supports this constitution amendment to postpone the state legislative redistricting process until the election, until after the election on November 2nd, 2021, if 
the state receives federal census data after February 15, 2021. Keep the current state legislative districts in place until 2023. Use the delay timeline and future redistricting cycles if the census is received after February 15th. All right, and if you live in Jersey City, Essex County, I hope I said that right, and Hudson County, these are your municipal elections going on this year in your county. So please check out Ballotpedia for more information on these municipal elections. You can't forget the kids, even though Newark had a general election, had a school district election in May, there is also a school district election for Jersey City Public School on November 3rd. So if you live near New Jersey City Public School District, or if your kids go there, you know, same thing, I guess. Um, Please make sure to check out Ballotpedia for more information on that school election. And that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Look at you guys legalizing marijuana. We love to see it. All right. And I hope you found this video informative. I hope that you're making a plan to vote. I hope that you're considering running for election in the future because it's really important that we not only do we vote every four years, but we vote every more than every year, every month, whenever there's something on the ballot. And also that we're willing to do that civic duty of running ourselves and considering running or at least encouraging people who seem like they have good leadership and caring qualities and um, deep perspectives to participate. You know, we want to hear from everyone, not just a select few who have enough money or have enough people with money back in them. But okay. So, on that note, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, wash your face, wash your hands, wash your ass, wear a mask, and don't be an asshole. Bye!